Hi friends, welcome back to Art Tutorials. In today's episode, we are bringing you top interview question and answers for a full stack developer role. So if you are applying as a full stack developer and you have an interview coming up, this interview will definitely help you crack those uh, interview questions. The interview questions are compiled based on other companies and technical recruiter panel observations. So this will really be helpful for you as if you're applying for a full stack developer role. If you have any questions or doubts, please feel free to add them in the comments section. I'll be happy to help you for free. Also, before we get started, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Let's get started with top interview question and answers for full stack developer role. So the first question that is asked is, what is your personal favorite programming language? So in this, this is a very tricky question because this will set the tone of your interview. So make sure you always answer the languages which you are really, really sure and confident about. For example, you should always say some basic languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Also, if you are speci specially um, inclined towards some of the UI frameworks like React, Angular, Vue, mention them. Or if you are mainly your strong languages is on the backend side like Python, Node, PHP, Ruby on Rails, highlight them. So this is up to you. I will not tell you what to tell for this, but I'm setting a tone here. Whichever is your personal favorite language, go ahead, explain that language and tell why you like it. The next question is, what role do you prefer, technical or managerial? Here they are trying to understand whether can you handle technical, managerial, what roles you have done, what work you are inclined to. So you should always say, I am a full stack developer. I am capable of handling both technical and managerial roles depending upon the desire and the requirement. In the, in the technical field, they get to work on various projects along with other team members. While in the managerial field, they'll be able to lead projects with suggestions and ideas for betterment. Now, the next question that is asked is, what is continuous integration? So continuous integration is using codes that are built and automated for testing or production. This allows developers to deploy codes easily during the time of production. Developers need to integrate a code every day during the build Every code that is, is automatically checked in and then is promoted to higher environments. The continuous integration helps you detect problems early and possibly reducing the number of defects or bugs. What is pair programming? So pair programming refers to one of the fundamental aspects of extreme programming, wherein two developers work on the same terminal. The developer responsible for writing the code is the driver and whereas the developer who reviews the code is called as the navigator. So basically there are two people working on same problem because it might be complex or it might need multiple you know, use cases, both happy path and negative use case. Now the next question that is often asked for full stack developers is, what is course? What is your understanding? Tell me the problems you have seen in course. So CORE stands for Cross Origin Resource Sharing. It's a technique used for accessing web resources on diverse domains. For example, if you have your UI repository hosted in one domain, your backend in another, you need CORE allow origin all to, to access the UI so that they can hit the backend code. So that is, that is the main intent. Now CORE allows you to seamlessly integrate web scripts. So talk about your experience of how the UI was calling the backend, which domains, how it was hosted, and talk about the kind of uh, headers that you set for course. What is the purpose of bridge pattern? So bridge pattern is used for situations that requires an abstraction to be decoupled from its implementation to allow the two to stand independent. This pattern is useful when there is a class and its functions vary. While the class is considered as an abstraction, its function is used as an implementation. So go through this. This is, this is a little tricky thing. 
I'll probably cover one example in later tutorial. But for now, understand what is bridge pattern. How do you de develop a successful continuous integration process? First, we must maintain an idea for the code of the project. Where you are hosting it, how is your SVN covered, how is your version control using a Git or a subversion. Then you should automate the build, which should have testing also covered. The build must be quick, updated to requirements of the production. Finally, you deploy. Uh, it should again be automated code because you automatically deploy using continuous CECI pipelines. With these steps, continuous integration can be successful in detecting early defects and problems. All right, so the next question is, according to you, which is the most important quality of a full stack developer? So as a full stack developer, you should be really good in organization skills, languages and technical skills. You should be open to suggestions, developing new programming strategies and staying up to date. This role requires you to have both understanding of UI and backend. Hence, you have to be on your toes in terms of technical knowledge. How do you get to know about the latest trends being a full stack developer? As a full stack developer, one should stay up to date with all the latest trends. We must test on new software every now and then. We must acquire new skills. With this, you should be able to increase your technical knowledge and scope. You can also get more knowledge by reading books, blogs, attending seminars, and obviously YouTube videos. Tell some of the latest trends that you have come to know recently. So this question is an open-ended question. So this is where you will use your logical and analytical ability to tell the interviewer what are the recent trends you have seen, what are the new technologies or skills you have learned, and those things. So there are several mobile applications, games that are being developed in Vue.js. You can talk about React. You can talk about Angular. You can talk about MeanStack or Python. So basically, they want to understand whether you are up to date with the latest technologies. All right, so there, here it ends the part one, and I'm going to soon publish part two also. Stay tuned. But before we close this, I request you again, friends, to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. If you have any doubts, any queries, drop them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. So see you in the next episode of Full Stack Developer Interview Questions Part 2. Thank you so much for joining.